Hi everybody. I just wanted to read a quick story to you guys. I hope everybody's doing great. I miss all of you and I hope you enjoy the story. The story I'm going to read to you is called Larry's Baby Boa. How was pet day at school? It was okay, but Peepers got chocolate pudding and grass all over him. How did that happen? Nick's dog knocked over our lunch table. The chocolate pudding sprayed all over us and the floor. How did Nick's dog knock over the table? He was running from the trouble, Matt's ferret. Matt has a ferret? Yes, boy is he fast. After that, Isabel gave trouble a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. She wanted to see if it would stick in his mouth shut. Then what happened? Well, Trouble sneezed, Ferret sneezed, I suppose they must. Trouble's sneeze was very loud. Then what happened? The sneeze scared Larry's baby boa, so it wound itself around Mr. Jeffrey's leg. I suppose she started screaming. More than that, she screamed and ran around the room, trying to shake him off. Then Charlene's monkey jumped onto Mrs. Jeffrey's shoulder for a ride. A monkey jumped onto her shoulder. Yes, he was holding on to her scarf so he wouldn't fall. And then the scarf came off. Oh my goodness, what did the monkey do with her scarf? He threw it on Audrey's cat. The cat must have thought it was a mouse because she jumped on it and ripped it up. Your poor teacher. Yes, but her screaming got really boring. So, how did she get the boa off her leg? Oh, the monkey swung down and pulled it. What did it do with it? He threw it into the air. It came flying right at me and Isabel. I ducked. You had good sense to do that. Isabel wished she had ducked because the baby boa landed right in her hair. What did Isabel do? The same as Mrs. Jeffrey. She screamed and turned around the room, trying to shake it off. Poor Isabel. Did she and Mrs. Jeffrey ever stop screaming? They did when Mr. Conley yelled in his bullhorn for everyone to be quiet. That made sense. Well, not really. The loud noise scared all the animals and they did slide on the chocolate pudding as they ran outside. What did they do outside? Well, a tractor was cutting grass. And so that's how Peepers got the grass on him. Yup. The tractor was spraying grass all over and it stuck to the chocolate pudding. Well, Lori, at least your day wasn't boring, right? But we spent the rest of the day trying to find all our pets. We never did find Larry's baby boa. I think it's still in Isabella's hair. I suppose Mrs. Jeffrey will never allow you to bring your pets to school again. Oh no, she said she told us to bring them all back again tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and I hope to read you another one real soon and keep up all the great work. I love seeing the pictures on Facebook. See you soon.